Okay, so getting to the point, I asked you the time scale that the Quran has existed and the time scale of human beings. After you Not time scale of Quran, Islam is there since time yeah, immemorial. No, no, of the Quran, the book, Quran. No, uh, the holy book. Uh, not, not Islam, we can say Islam existed for forever, but why was the Quran invent, uh, placed on earth afterwards? Very and, good. And, and, very good, very good and, question. And uh, I also wanted to ask you something I always wanted to know about, that is the uh, Darwin's theory of evolution. Um, I know there's a lot of controversy on that, but why do you, do you believe in evolution or you believe man was placed directly? And the whole thing of apes, the science that has proved that human beings emanated from apes. Do you agree with Brothers that? Brothers, two questions that science... Two questions, sorry about that. No problem. Two questions, do you believe in Darwin's theory? Science has proved that human beings have been evaluated from apes. Do you believe in? Do you believe that human beings are placed? And second question, why was Quran revealed 14 years back? Why not before? Two questions. Regarding a correction in your question. Science hasn't proved that human beings have been evolved from ape. It is Darwin's theory, not Darwin's fact. It's a theory. There is no book today. There is no book today on the face of the earth which says the fact of evolution. It's theory. The fact of the origin of human beings. No, it's theory. And for your information, Darwin himself said that there were missing links in his theory. If you read his book on the origin of species, he writes in this on a ship by the name of HMS Beagle. He goes to an island by the name of Calatropis and there he sees birds were pecking in niches, in holes. Based on the holes they pecked, the beak of the birds became short and long. Based on that observation, he propounded the theory of natural selection. He wrote a letter to his friend Thomas Thompson in 1861 that I have no proof for my theory of evolution but because it helps me in giving replies to embryology, to genetics, that's the reason I'm propounding. He had no proof on it. That's the reason in our school, you know, to joke around, we used to say, if you were present at Darwin's time, Darwin would have been proved right. Trying to insinuate, I'm telling my colleague, he's an ape, he's a monkey. There were missing links. Furthermore, all the three stages today, science and advanced, we have come to know that the first stage, the Australopithecus, and the ice man. The next stage that we have, Neanderthal man, Cro-Magnon. All these stages that we have, today of the human being that we found, there's no link between them. Certain things what Darwin said, that life is evolved from water, I agree with it. Quran says that, Surah Ambiya chapter 21, verse number 30, wa ja'alna min al kullah shayin hai. We have created every living thing from water, I believe in that. But saying that we have evolved from one species to the other is a hypothesis. According to molecular biologist Hans Craig, he said it is letting your imagination run too wild to say that we have been evolved from apes. If that was true, today we'll find someone in between man and human being. You only find in mythology. You don't find anywhere in the world a monkey man. Do you find? So why do you think evolution has stopped now? It is a hypothesis and most of the scientists today disagree with it. There is only a small negligible percentage which yet believe in Darwin's theory. Majority of the scientists have already disproved Darwin's theory. I feel your knowledge of science is not up to date, brother. But Dr. Naik. Not but, wait. You're asking me a question, I'm replying. Then we have to give chance to others. You have already asked five, six questions. No, Let's I thought do you were justice. just having fun, that's all. Sorry? I thought you were being entertained with having my Having fun? Oh, I'm besides entertaining you, I want to entertain the other non-Muslim brothers. If all non-Muslim get over, come back to you. All so right. what we realize, Darwin's theory, brother, your knowledge on science is weak. We say Adam and Eve were the first human beings. That's what the Quran says. Furthermore, regarding your second question. Okay. I have to answer your question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have not answered the second question, you want to put the third question. That means you are not listening to me. Or oh, you have forgotten you have asked two questions. No, no, I have asked you the first one. That means you are a good questioner, huh? Now you ask me the question, why was Quran revealed 1400 years back? Why not before? You know my son, he wants to become a doctor. He's telling me, Father, Abba, why do you put me in school and college? Why don't you put me in medical college directly? I said, son, first go to nursery, then go to primary. Then go to secondary school, then go to college, then go to medical college. I can't put him in medical college directly. Why? He should know the basics. Similarly, Almighty God is our creator. He kept on sending other revelations. Almighty God, our creator, thought 1400 years back was the right time that human beings could absorb this message. He revealed it. He is our creator. He knows better than you and me. 
1400 years back, he revealed his last message, the Quran, to the last and final messenger, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And it's mentioned in the Quran in Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 3. On this day, have I perfected my religion for you, the perfect form. And have completed my favor on you, you talk to the human beings. And has chosen for you Islam. After this, nothing new can be added into the basics of Islam. Nothing can be subtracted. That's it. So Almighty God knows when we can imbibe the message of the Quran. And this is the last testament, last messenger Prophet Muhammad. No other messenger come after this. Hope this answers your question. That and I hope that you even accept, besides being my fan, you also accept my teachings, inshallah. Maybe next time when you come here. Maybe next time. Maybe. You tell me I'll come again tomorrow. I'm flying tomorrow. I'll come back fast for you alone. <laughs>